And let's share what I have here. Am I sharing the right one? I guess so, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, the 27th today, tomorrow is my mom's birthday. And um, come on, computer. Cooperate. As usual, I like to start with our prayer. And I do have a prayer here. Let me know if you guys can hear the song. Can you hear that? Is that Not comfortable? Yet. No? Yeah. Now it's now it's coming on. It's, it's very coming. subtle. Yeah. But it's yeah. Yeah. So I will just uh stop my video here. So it will not interfere with the uh, with my internet, so it's not gonna be too heavy. Mm -hmm. So as usual, let's close our eyes, relax our bodies, elevate our thoughts to all goodness to the higher beings. Let's invite our spiritual guides. And all of those in tune with all goodness, with the light. We know we are never alone. We know among us, the incarnated ones, there is always the presence of the spirits. Some to guide us, but some to also learn with us. So let's take this moment to mentally see this beautiful, beautiful light. Let's invite the guardian spirits and let's take the moment now to ask permission to start this very little and humble exercise. It is a, a vibration a good and very loving vibration so we can send energy to the whole world. Let's be grateful for this opportunity and start our prayer right now. Dear God, our merciful and good Father, Faced with the shadows that spread over our planet, we wish to plead for your help as we have never done before. We know that you, Father, is omniscient and knows everything that happens on this very tiny grain of, of sand that we call home. But we wish to express our simple prayer. Dear Lord, many of your children have forgotten that they are children of light and are obstinate in spreading darkness wherever they go. Some men lost faith in life, lost faith in the Father, and lost themselves. Others think that the earth is on the brink of chaos and that the Lord, our Father, who lights the stars and makes the stars rotate, has abandoned the humanity his children. So have compassion on our moral miseries and please bless us all. Relieve our ignorance, tolerate our ingratitude and forgive our lack of faith. Forgetting that 
in essence, we are light. We allow shadows to cover our vision and make us unhappy. There is so much lack of light in the world right now. So help us to remove the blindfold of vanity from our eyes, which prevents us from seeing our moral deformities and our smallness in the face of your greatness. Help us break through this shell of selfishness that paralyzes our hands and prevents us from extending our arms to help our brothers and sisters in need. Help us to dilute this mask of arrogance so that we can understand that we are nothing without your love. Teach us, Father, to build bridges of understanding to strengthen bonds of friendship, to understand others. Help us to learn how to love like you do love each one of us. Help us, Father, to admit our own fragility, freeing us from arrogance, building gardens, spreading perfume, weeping away tears, walking with courage, believing in life in your unconditional love, spreading hope, always, always smiling, forgiving without conditions, and finally, Father, Help us to turn our gaze to the stars, even if our feet are still soaked in mud. May the higher beings here with us today gather our vibration, the energy that we kindly and humbly offer to everybody, the whole planet, May this energy shower upon all those we pray for, upon all those crossing our mind and hearts right now, and all of those in need. May this energy heal, protect, and help them to recover from their sorrow, pain, challenges, and suffering. Stay with us, dear Jesus, today and always. Guardian spirits, keep us safe and under your protection. <coughs> we thank you for this opportunity of being of service. We thank you for the opportunity to be here in this planet. We thank you for your love. And so be it. So be it. Good afternoon, my friends. Nice to see you again. Hey, Maria. Hi, everybody. Hello. 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 So, uh, Luis, one of the things that we need to do uh, at some point we need to meet so we do uh, we pick a day so we can start working on this next book, right? So we, we, we put something together and so we can continue with the, with the studies of this group. Hey, Giles. Uh, some of uh, Food for thoughts that I, I I brought today is uh some somebody sent me this uh, short story about Shiko that says the following. 
that one day in one of his visits to the city of Rio de Janeiro, Chico Xavier, this Brazilian medium, he was walking with some of, some of the friends from uh, the Brazilian Spiritist Federation in the streets, when suddenly he sees this uh, sidewalk sweeper. This and, and, and you may realize this was back in the 70s when those still exist, you know, people sweeping the, the sidewalk. So Chico goes to this man, hugs him, talks to him, and then returns to his friends. So one of the, the, the Chico's friends then ask him, Chico, do you know him? Do you know that guy? And I've never heard of, but through my clairvoyance, I see it, his greatness, it's not its greatness, his greatness. If we knew who he is, we would kiss his feet. For us, or for the time that he is sweeping the sidewalks, he is praying, and with his faith, he is embracing the entire block. So you see the importance of someone that is even doing such a simple thing like um, sweeping the floor, as long as you uh, stay in this, uh, how can I say, attitude, you know, or mental attitude, uh, you know, praying or, you know, keeping the connection with the higher being so you know how or what the, the importance of that little act. Oh, by the way, this lady over here is another Brazilian medium and she's very known. There are some books, you know, that she uh, wrote. Uh, she published, and uh, it is been it is sad that she was her mediumship was as powerful as Shiku's. She was really uh, she's like a legend as well in in, in Brazil. Her name is Ivone do Amaral Pereira. Um, okay. Okay, Carol, you, you want to say anything? No? Oh, oh yeah. And uh, as a matter of fact, that was I was putting this um, uh, short story together. I recalled a book that I read, and this is, this is it. It's talking about um, those occasions where tragedy or, you know, war or uh, nature caused by war or nature when people uh you know transition to the other side out together so it is this book is about those occasions and what happened and you know how the spiritual plan how the 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 spirits how they coordinate and how they organize themselves and it is said in this book in one of the tragedies in countries in, in the Caribbean area. I can't remember right now which one that was, but we have some of the, the guys in the army, Brazilian army deployed to help those folks, to help uh, rebuilding the, the, you know, the, the cities, the houses, that, and in that book, they said that uh, those guys, they were deployed because it was up to their spirits to actually help with all the deceased ones, to help uh, with the rescue of all the those deceased and help them to understand what happened and, you know, what the, the, the next step in their life was supposed to be and those spiritual guides they were 
also using the energy of their mentees, if you will, the, the, the Brazilian guys helping them. So their energy was also being used in the rescue operation, uh, you know, and, and, and it was very nice because sometimes we think that all that we are doing is just helping with the reconstruction, helping with the uh, buildings and, you know, everything in our when, in fact, a lot of work is being done on the other side as well. So, uh, okay, so last time, remember that we uh, we talked about all the, the type of body that all together, they perform our bodies, not just the, the physical, this, you know, body of bones and flesh, but also we have several other bodies that uh, will perform the, what we call perispirit. So in each one of these layers, they are associated with one of those center energies that is, is very known. We I'm not going to talk about it, but you know, just so we know, every uh energy center they they are responsible or they rule, they coordinate one of those layers. Those layers together, they perform what Alan Kardec called peri spirit. It's very is is still made of matter. It's a very subtle type of matter, okay. And it gives shape to the. It allows the spirit to act on matter and do a lot of things that we know of. Materialization being one of them, right? Um. Okay, so again, seven level of you know, uh, different layers. I'm not going to go over each one of them. There are several books talking about them. And so remember, we are still in the book one, first cause and first cause, the first chapter, which is God. And now chapter two, we are still talking about general elements of the universe as a matter of fact giles i read your book i have some comments i will send the comments to you okay yes <laughs> and when i when i saw elements of the universe i remember my comments and what you wrote and yeah very interesting um and in these elements of the universe so uh, we have seen knowledge of the first principle of things and right now we are right here in the topics where Alan Kardec and the spirits, they were spirit and matter and everything around that. And uh, I think today we will get to properties of matter, I believe, I think. Um, and then last time, last meeting, we stopped right here. Uh, what is the spirit was the question. What is the essential nature of the spirit? And the, the answer for, to the first question was, what is the spirit? The intelligent principle of the universe. That's the question. That's the answer to the question number 23, spirit's book. And what is the essential nature of the spirit? Of the the spirit, the spirit answered, your language is incapable of properly defining the spirit. It is nothing to you because it is not a tangible thing. But for us, it is something. Remember this, nothing is nothingness and nothingness does not exist. So if you focus on the matter, if you focus on this physical dimension, physical reality, then it's going to be nothing, but evidently it is. Uh, and next, I have this very short video. I hope 
Luis and I will be able to do a, a good job translating. But here's the thing. There is this uh, group in Brazil. They are all actors. They are spiritist actors. And what they do is they create these short stories just to pass along uh, those spirit teachings, okay? But they do it in a very, um, like a comedy. So it is supposed to be jokes. You may not understand because some of them, they are like Brazilian jokes you, you may not understand, but uh, they are supposed to tell funny stories and short stories, but all of them, they bring essence of those stories is about the spirit teachings and that's how they they contribute with the dissemination of the spirit teachings so there will be this actor i forgot his name right now and the the guy performing god this this guy over here Haroldo dutra uh, luis knows him in person um, uh, a judge in Brazil and he is a speaker he is a spiritist very known guy in Brazil and, and outside of Brazil I have seen some of his lectures here in Dallas uh, he has been in Florida many times uh, Europe so he will perform in this short video he will be performing God so it's gonna be okay, Luis. <laughs> and uh, this guy uh, in this story is a spirit that has just been created for the very first time. So this is the story. So this guy was created, and all of a sudden he realizes, oh, I do exist. So that's what this story is about. So let's see. By the way, who am I going to be? So, uh, you are going to be the the spirit. Spirit, okay. Is is the sound too low for you, Luis? I think not. I think it's okay. <laughs> Ah, yeah, it's low, yeah, it's low. Ana, está baixo. Yeah, it's okay. very low, yes. Eita! Ui! <laughs> existo! Eu existo! Eu, eu, eu penso, penso logo, existo logo, logo penso, eu existo! <laughs> He's saying that I exist, I think, thus, then I exist. I am. Eu penso. Eu. Eu sou o quê? What am I? O que eu sou? É um dos meus filhos amados. It is one of my beloved sons. Espírito. The spirit. E aí? Tudo bem? Acabei de chegar. Eu sou o espírito, né? Ah, eu sabia. Eu sabia que eu era o espírito, cara. Hi there. I've just arrived. I knew I was a spirit. O que, que é espírito? By the way, what is spirit? Gente do universo. The intelligent principle of nossa, obrigado. Eu, sei, eu, sei, eu sou meio inteligente mesmo. Eu sei de tudo. Também eu só vivo há dois minutos. Tudo, tudo é pequenininho ainda. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I know I am intelligent and I know about everything. Although I've just lived for two minutes. Caramba, mas quem é você? Sou a causa. Come on, but who, who are you? primária de todas as coisas. I am the first cause of all things. Oh, caraca! Você é importante! Legal! 
De onde que eu vim? Acabou. Wow, come on, you're very important. Where have I come from? Ser criado. Sim. Simples e ignorante. You have just been created. Simple and ignorant. Ei, hey, ignorante por quê? Ignorante é você. Ah, você acabou de dizer que era inteligente? Já mudou de ideia? Você é o quê? Bipolar? Você que não é muito inteligente, né, dona Causa? So, uh, Mrs. Cause, uh, you're not so that intelligent because you just called me intelligent and now you're call calling me ignorant. I don't accept that. Sou a inteligência suprema. Mm -hmm. I am the supreme intelligent. Hum, tá bom, então. Ok, dona. Inteligência suprema. <risos> que legal isso aqui, gente. All right, then, you Mr. Supreme Intelligence, right? It's very cool in here. Vem cá, é. Você tá onde, hein? Estou... Where are you? Em toda parte. Em tudo. Ah. I am everywhere and in everything. Ah, maneiro, hein? Tipo, ácaros. <risos> Legal. Cool. Just like ácaros. Eu, eu posso te ver? Você não me compreenderia. Ah. Can I see you? You will not understand me. Deixa de ser tímida. Aparece aí. Aqui é legal existir. Você não está pronto, meu filho. Não be shy, right? Come over here. It's cool to exist, right? You are not ready yet, my son. Quando chegar ao final da sua jornada evolutiva e se tornar um espírito puro, me verá e compreenderá. Uma jornada. When you finish your journey and you become a pure spirit, you'll be able to see me and understand me. Nada. Eu vou participar de uma jornada, que legal! É tipo, tipo um game, assim? Caraca, que maneiro! Mas, mas como é que é essa jornada? A journey? Will I be I take part in a journey? Well, this is very cool. What, how does it work? Você viverá muitas aventuras na matéria. You will live a lot of adventures in the matter. Cada uma dessas aventuras te fará progredir. <laughs> And every single one of them will contribute to your evolution. Aventuras! Eu quero! Eu quero isso! Mas como, como assim? Eu, eu, vou, eu vou ter uma arma, uma espada! Todo herói tem uma arma, não é? Você terá o seu livre-arbítrio. Oh, this is going to be very nice. Will I have a weapon? Every hero has a weapon. You have your free will. <risos> eu não sei muito bem o que é isso, mas você vai ver. Eu vou acabar com todos eles. Eu e meu livre arbítrio. Cuidado. I don't understand very well what this is, but okay, I will have this free will. Ah, vai com calma, meu filho. Essa sua arma, o livre arbítrio, como toda arma, também pode te ferir se não for usada direito. Be careful. You and this weapon, the free will, can harm you if you do not know very well how to use it. I know how to handle it, right? Can I begin now? When I do when do I begin? Now agora eu tô com um pouco de medo porque eu não sei bem jogar, não é? Acabei de ser criado, simples e ignorante, lembra? Você falou aí. Right now, I'm a little bit afraid to, you know, to dive into this, right? Tem algum tutorial para te aprender? Não fique com medo. Vou estar sempre Não contigo. Não deixa, eu vou sempre com você. Ah, yeah, ah. Não, não é querendo te desmerecer, não, dona Causa, mas então, a senhora disse, eu não te compreendo ainda e tal, como é que a senhora vai me ajudar? Através dos seus irmãos mais velhos. 
I don't want to downgrade your position, Mr. Cause, but uh, how can you help me? I will help you through your older brothers and sisters. Eu tenho irmãos? Meu Deus, eu tenho irmãos! Que eles vão também comigo nessa aventura? Do I have brothers and sisters? Will they come along with me in this adventure? Sim, claro. Yes, of course. Eles também estão em sua jornada de evolução. Wow. A lot of them, they are in the same journey towards evolution. Oh, que incrível! É muito melhor assim, porque jogar sozinho é muito sem graça, não é? That's much better. It's incredible. Much better this way. Whereas playing alone is so, you know, graceless. Nossa, e como é que começa? Onde é que aperta o start? When do I start? When do I, where do I push the start button? Se esqueça que todo jogo tem suas regras, meu filho. Do not forget that all game has its own rules, my son. Quanto mais se afastar delas, mais difícil fica seu caminho. The farther away you get from those rules, the harder will be your journey. Tava bom demais para ser verdade. Regras, regras, regras. That's too good to be true. Rules, rules, rules. Onde elas estão? Onde estão essas regras? Escrito? Where are these rules? Are they written? Estás aonde? Onde estão? Na sua consciência. In your consciousness. Ah, eu acho. <laughs> ok. Ok. All right. Relax. I, I will find it anyway. <laughs> Whatever. Eu vou lá. Eu vou lá. Ah, eu acho que eu falo isso. Relax. Dona Causa. De... Mr. Cause. Diga, meu filho. Nossa, eu tenho saudade da senhora. Eu queria. Você não quer brincar comigo? Também. Sempre. Brincar. I miss you so much. Would you, wouldn't you like to play with me too? Always. Creating is creating. And creating, it is my ex. É criar. E de criar, meu filho. Eu entendo. Então eu vou lá. Juízo, hein? Be careful. Tchau. Te amo. I love you. Eu também te amo, pai. I <laughs> love you too, father. Ah! Yeah. So, yeah, it's a, it's a very funny short video, but uh, yeah, I do not know if you guys can. Okay, so let computer so uh the next question now is is a spirit synonymous with intelligence what what is uh what do we think about it are we supposed to answer that <laughs> <laughs> The answer is no, of course not. No, don't be so, you know. No, let's do it. <laughs> I mean, we, uh, it the grows. video just said, you know, we were created simple and ignorant, but we do evolve along the way with our small, exactly, it grows. With our small, uh experiences right so the answer is the question number 24 intelligence is an essential attribute of the spirit the giles we are intelligent in your world they are used interchangeably as a common principle so much so that four are the same Comments or agreement, disagreements? So this, the spirit then is, well, it is essentially a, an attribute of the spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
because uh, it is a matter of logic. So if we were created from this divine source that is the supreme intelligence, we must have something, <laughs> at least the seed of intelligence, <laughs> right? Um, the next one is the spirit independent of, or is it only a property? As colors are a property of light and sound is a property of, what do we think? Sp uh, spirit is not matter. You are matter or spirit. Mm -hmm. That's that's how we we were created. So, but but how how does work? So why need matter? If we were created separate, what's the matter with matter? <laughs> what is it for, Giles? Matter is so that things can happen. Spirit by itself can do only one thing. <laughs> can, can, which can, is create matter. Can act. And then things can happen. Yeah. But spirit can't be limited. Unless it's created matter, it's limited because there's no space and no time, so nothing can happen. It's boring. That's what the ancient Indian Rishi said was the reason for it all in the first place. Spirit sat there and got bored. That I will never hold. Okay. So let's see what is the... So is this matter? They are distinct from one another, but the union of the spirit and matter is vital to give intelligent activity to matter. That's very nicely put, of course. Yeah, that's the answer to the question 25. Any comments so far? Nope. So, and then there is uh, there is this question, is this union also necessary for the manifestation of the spirit? And when I, they call, I there should, is a, oh, go ahead. No, I should think so, because the spirit has to manifest. Mm-hmm. Anybody else? I think I quite agree with you. <laughs> Spirit manifests itself through matter. Yeah, this is very straightforward. So, so the answer is for you, yes, because your physical makeup is not designed to perceive this apart from matter. Your senses are not designed for that yet, mm -hmm. right? Comments, agreement, disagreement, Luis? No, it's interesting, yes, because, you know, it's a very delicate subject. As I told you, I've already com seen communications of materialist spirits that they wouldn't believe in other things that were happening spiritually in the meeting. They would, see, they would think that in the manifestations of the spirits through some mediums were just false because they couldn't see any other spirits other than they themselves in the room because they were materialist spirits, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's interesting. Uh, so they <laughs> did... In that in those cases, did they know that they were that? They did, they didn't, but uh, of course they didn't know they didn't believe in death, 
But one thing is that they didn't believe in the spirit as an immaterial entity because they said, well, I have a body, I have blood running mm -hmm. my veins, and I am on what you call the spiritual side, but there's nothing of spiritual in where where I am, you know? Mm -hmm. So this is... Uh, <laughs> Is dumb. that yeah? That's interesting. What you said matches with uh, what Doctor Paulo Frutuoso told me one day that when he was describing uh, sp an a spiritual surgery that happened in the Spirit Center uh, in in Rio de Janeiro, he asked. It was a very interesting meeting because. It was a materialization meeting. In that meeting, a doctor materialized. And the doctor was now performing a procedure, uh, you know, a surgery in a in an incarnated guy. He was sick. And it was a surgery. Dr. Frutuoso said that he could see and he collected, he, 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 he got a sample of the blood. There was blood. And he asked, Dr. Paulo Frutuoso asked, what is the blood for? I, I see no cut. I see nothing. And the spirit said, oh, I don't need the blood, but you need the blood to believe it. So you take this sample. And you take the sample to your university because remember Dr. Paulo Frutoso, he, he's a oncologist, but he also teaches in the university in Rio. So it was for Dr. Paulo Frutoso to take a sample of that blood and, and uh, you know, prove that the blood actually belonged to that guy, the sick guy that was under that surgical procedure. And, and then Dr. Frutuoso asked, okay, so, but how are you doing this procedure? And the spirit said that he was actually performing the procedure in the Paris spirit, but knowing that this, the, the, the Paris spirit spiritual body, if you will, has thing. So if I have a liver, my pair spirit, as a spirit, I will have something like a liver, a brain, or, you know, still it's, it's like a, a mimicking or, you know, reproducing or replicating the same uh structure as if we had an incarnated body does it make sense I, I remember it was something very very new to me because in my mind why do i need a liver why do i need a a blood vessel if i am a spirit but it's very easy to understand what this guy in the Luis meeting was saying. Well, I can see my hand. I can see my blood vessels. I can see, I cannot be that. And I'm not spiritual. I'm not transparent. I, I don't <laughs> see, th people don't see through me here. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it's, and this is something that many, many spirits, I remember one, uh, I think it was the Harrisons, one of the videos of the Harrisons. So there was a guy that had been in a meeting, in a direct voice meeting, mm -hmm. and he said that he was okay, but his friends from a spiritualist church in England was not were not that fine because, because of their belief. They didn't believe in matter... Uh, as a quintessence, a quintessence, right? They believe in matter as just physical matter. And there is matter over there too. Because of this, they couldn't believe they had, they were they were dead, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and I guess, Luis, 
those cases that will happen because we are so close to this dimension here. We are so close to the dimension where the incarnated folks are. But the, how can I say? Higher the, realms. The higher the realm, then the more subtle that mm -hmm. is. The less is the idea that we have a body that we need this almost touchy type of mm -hmm. uh, texture, if you will. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, but always comparing to the physical world with, that we have here, right? Yes. Because for them who are living in this, on the same level of a higher realm, they are not transparent to each other and the same thing. They, they just live and Good see. Good point. Yes. <laughs> they can see each other. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. So your senses are not designed for that. So that's where we are. That's interesting. They said that your senses are not designed for that. But uh, as mediums, sometimes we can think we can see things that our physical body cannot see it, right? Yeah, but that's what I was going to ask because some people can see the spirits and they, they can actually see a materialization. Not everyone can, but some can. But I guess he's talking about the physical body because when you can see, there's nothing really physical, despite the pineal gland, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you can have all the conditions to be a medium, like tons of crystals in your pineal gland, and yet you cannot see the spirit because that ability can be blocked. Like Shiko used to know by touching someone, you know, shaking hands, he used to know more or less, you know, uh, whether or not the person was about to die. And that was very, uh, he was struggling a lot uh, with that. And then he talked to Emmanuel, his, his spiritual guide, and said, can I please not have that ability to know whether or not a friend is about to die? And it was conceived. So that, at, at least that um, ability was blocked. He no longer could tell anymore if the person was about to die. So once upon a time, I used to read people's hands. And when, <clears throat> since I was quite successful at that, when I would see things that, that they really wouldn't like to know, I would have to uh, say, oh, I can't feel anything today. So that's, a, I completely understand that. No, completely understand it. I partially understand mm -hmm. what uh, Javier was uh, experiencing. Because knowing too much about other people is uh, very uncomfortable. It is. Uh, agree. Yeah. Especially. Uh, you've been ethical. Mm -hmm. This is good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maria, please. And uh, nowadays, uh, the people that study about the behavior of human beings. Uh, talking about another intelligence, not only rational intelligence, but emotional. Not, not only emotional intelligence, but nowadays they talk about spiritual intelligence. Mm -hmm. And that is the ability to give a purpose, purpose. to actions and give meaning to life, mm -hmm. represented by the spiritual Conscient, Iki, all right? Dimensions are not is isolated from each other in the human brain, but are interconnected 
with each other, with the rational intelligence and emotional intelligence. And one does not exist without the other. Then I think that we are in the important moment of humanity because the first one was rational intelligence. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very uh, valorizado, how I can say it in English? Ikai. Uh, yes. Very important to the peoples. But nowadays, emotional intelligence is very important. And nowadays, too, spiritual intelligence is uh, like a prerequisite, how I can say it in English? Prerequisite, yeah. Yes, to, to, to access a work, uh, to do uh, mestrado, how I can say it in English? Masters. Yes, in, I think that is very important. We think about that uh, spiritual intelligence uh, uh, the science is looking for it. Yeah. Yeah. So Maria is talking about an important point because at the beginning of our evolution, we were paying a lot of attention to our intelligence, but from a rational standpoint, whether or not we were able to unfold the mysteries of nature, matter. So we were just paying attention to our intelligence. And evidently this is important because that's how we evolve. We, um, we create a, a better life quality if we, we if we, if you, if we will. And, uh, we also, as we create more and more means to, you know, facilitate our life or to make our life easier, then we, we create more leisure time. So we, what we do with that leisure time is, is our decision, but the intent is, or the, the spiritual uh, the spirits, the higher beings intent is really to allow us more time so we can educate ourselves and we uh, interact with ourselves more and more. And as we do so, we evolve our or we develop our emotional intelligence. So First, we developed the rational intelligence. Then now, as we do interact among ourselves, emotional. And now Maria is talking about the spiritual. And I remember that in the spirits books and ma many other books, they say all of that is, is a long journey to develop our moral values, our ethical value, ethics values. So it is based on development of our emotional intelligence, but also spiritual intelligence. And uh, I think it was a very interesting point that Maria brought today because we see this concept more and more um coming up you know in in books or discussions lectures etc cetera, etc cetera. it is it is a good sign that the humanity they're acknowledging you know we are acknowledging we are beings uh that is not just this flesh and bones but we have I do not know how to say that, but we have um, different dimensions, uh, uh, several dimensions, and uh, um, as such, you know, for every single 
uh, dimension, then there is an intelligence, one type of intelligence ruling, coordinating everything. So comments, shall we go? Shall we continue? Uh, next question, can a spirit be conceptualized or created or imagined without matter and vice versa? In uh, another word, can a spirit be without matter? Maria, please. I want to talk about the last question. And um, in the spirit books, Kardec asks which comes first, uh, the intellectual or moral evolution? And the through spirit answer that the intellectual evolution comes first because it uh, shows us. Uh, the difference between Maria, is that me or I cannot hear you? Oh, you can hear me now? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I thought that the, in the Spirit's book, Kardec asks which comes first, intelligent, uh, intelligent or moral evolution to the spirit? And the answer is that the intellectual evolution comes first because it, uh, it capacitates us to choose uh, between the, the, the bad and the good mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. We, we need to, to, to have the intellectual uh, evolution mm -hmm. uh, because the law of God is, uh, was written in our conscience. And yes. if I develop my conscience, I can uh, choose, I can see the difference between the, the bad and the good and things the good. to do. Yep. Yep. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, so no doubt, intellectual development first, so we can distinguish between good and bad and decide which one will follow. And as we do struggle making those decisions, evidently we make mistakes, then we evolve the emotional and then spiritual intelligence uh, so now the question can a spirit be conceptualized or can a spirit be without matter yes no agree So the answer, come on, computer, of course, by thought. So, so yes, um, you know, we, we were not created as a matter, so the spirit can be without matter. Right. So, but how that happens, I don't think we are at the point to to see that yet. So it will be whenever we reach the very top, or you know, we we become a pure spirit. Right. So then we will know what is a spirit without matter but so far we cannot live without it comments shall we go therefore 
Are there two general elements of the universe? Matter and the spirit. So is a question whether or not the two very basic elements of the universe, matter and spirit. So the answer is, oops. Yeah, the answer is so large that I have to change the, the slide. So uh, Luis is very large. Would you please read it for me? The answer. Okay. Therefore, are there two general elements of the universe, matter and the spirit? Yes, and God, the creator of all things, is above them. These three elements are the principle of all that exists, the universal trinity. However, the universal fluid must be added to the material elements. It acts as the intermediary between the spirit and matter as the body is too crude for the spirit to be able to act directly on it. Although this fluid may be classified as part of the material element from another perspective, it is distinguished by certain special properties. If, if it were simply classified as matter, there would be no reason why the spirit could, all, could not also be classified as matter. It is something placed between the spirit and matter. Mm -hmm. It is fluid, just as matter is material, and through countless combinations under the action of the spirit, it can produce an infinite variety of things of which you only know a very small portion. Without this universal primitive or elementary fluid, the agent employed by the spirit, matter would be permanently remain divided and would never acquire the properties given to it by gravity. Okay, so, thank you, Luis. So, do you see that? So there is a very, very, very basic element in the universe, and they are calling over here universal cosmic fluid. It is not matter yet, but like Lego, do you remember Lego? The, that toy that we, you know, we're putting the pieces together and building, you know, houses, bridges, stuff. But uh, like he says over here, through countless combinations under the act of the spirit, Someone on purpose was combining these elements together and creating the matter that we know or creating the fabric that later on will become the matter as we know, as we can measure weight, monitor, sense. So he's saying without this universe, universal primitive of elementary fluid, the agent employed by spirits, the matter would permanently remain divided. You'll never acquire the properties grieving to it by gravity. So, so what, what the spirits are saying is there is matter the way that we know, and then there is this uh, uh, universal cosmic fluid, and nobody else will know because I don't think there is anywhere in this book or any other book explaining exactly what this universal cosmic fluid is made of. But I will say this, back in the 80, 1800s and until today, whenever we do not 
know the nature of what we are talking about, we give a name and the name is fluid to the point that uh, whenever we didn't know much about the electricity, the scientists, they used to call electricity as fluid just because they didn't know better. Today, we, we understand electricity cannot be called as fluid as we call water, for example. But it's just a way to give a name and express something that we do not comprehend the nature, the essence, just yet. So it's a very uh, interesting answer because it's telling us a lot of things, you know. Uh, we have the spirit, we have the matter. But to connect these two, there is something else. And it is the very basic element, the very basic fabric, you name it, I, I, that they call universal cosmic fluid. So that's the, the element uh, bonding matter and spirit together. But even this uh, fluid, if there is a conscious will, a conscious intelligence acting upon this fluid, then this will become matter through countless combinations mm -hmm. like the Lego toy. Comments, question, agreement, disagreements? I want to talk something, Anna. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very interesting <coughs> because uh, the Trinity is present in several spiritual philosophies. In Egypt, we can see Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, mm -hmm. that they are creator, conservator, and transformer. In India, we have Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, that they are creator, conservator, and transformer. In Greece, we have Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. And in, the, in Rome, we have um, Jupiter, Juno, and Minerva. And here in the spirit book, we can find the, the, the God, spirit, and matter. I think that is very important to think about that the Trinity means something more than we can see. I think mm -hmm. that all of the religions, uh, spiritual philosophy, uh, uh, understood this reality uh, about God, spirit, and uh, material. And in in particular way, they talk about it in the many times of the history of human beings. Mm -hmm. That's a very important point you, you just mentioned, Maria. And I will just stop right here so we can uh, slip on this thought that all this is nothing new. It has been known by for many, many years by many civilizations, just given different names, sometimes different concepts, but you know, this idea of Trinity has been known for ages. So nothing new, it's just that it seems like we forgot for a moment about it and we forgot how that works and how important what is the impact 
of this trinity in our life today. So, but like I said, the more we evolve spiritually, then we understand the importance, uh, the impact of this in our lives and, and what it's going to be once we transition. So we don't stay in that state of ignorance as we transition to the other side. Like Luis was saying, the spirit in his mediumship meeting was there, was present, but didn't believe in the spirit. He was a spirit in himself, but he, he was touching him. He could see him. He was not transparent. He could see his blood vessels. So, no. There is no time for, for us to stay ignorant like this. You know, it is it is time for us to open our minds and, uh, and try to understand more and more about those those realities because again it's nothing new it has been known by ages for many 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 civilizations several civilizations they they were talking about just giving different names any thank you maria so any comments concerns agreement disagreements Nope. Um, I need to point out that uh, this conversation is about uh, quantum physics. Mm -hmm. And uh, unless we all know and understand higher math, none of us can understand quantum physics. As uh, a few people have pointed out, if you say you understand quantum physics, you're lying. <laughs> because, <laughs> because nobody understands it. And the... Um, the current best knowledge of matter is that the particles that make it up are appearing and disappearing continuously. There is no such thing as a vacuum. You're an engineer, Anna. You've, you've run into these concepts before. Mm -hmm. So this uh, conversation is about writings happening 150 years ago. And the psychic answers, the, auto, the, the spiritual uh, re responses to these questions are made tailor-made for people of that time so they are uh, not really relevant today yeah and then right um this this has a lot to do with quantum physics and the more we advance in that kind of knowledge and those researches the better we will understand how that works. Um, I bought three books about quantum physics just to I I I will not pretend that I understand, but I knew based on the level of inconsistencies that some people were using that concept without knowing exactly what they were talking about, and that was really giving me giving me some you know some problems i i i do not like when people talk about things that they cannot understand they're just talking because it is the the topic of like you know the moment and they just want to pretend that they that they are knowledgeable enough to talk about it. So I bought I, these three uh, books. I suggest you take a look at the uh, um, YouTube that I put in uh, the chat mm -hmm. because that uh, comprises the latest um, knowledge of quantum physics and it's expressed in a very diagrammatic and sane way. Humans can understand it, or most well, of them. Le let me say this. When when we are talking about such edgy topic for science, being those topics full of concepts and elements that even things like Stephen Hawking and people of that level, they admit they do not know, they do not understand that very well. They are still kind of, you know, 
tiptoeing in that field. Who am yeah, I? Mean, I it, to... it, it comes just to show what the spirits in the spirits book were all saying. You cannot understand. Mm -hmm. And there are and words and uh, your language is incapable of conceiving those things. Mm -hmm. That's what the phys quantum physicists say do these days. If, if we're not with mathematics, with math, we cannot use English, for example, to make people understand about matter in a quantum level. So exactly what they said in the Spirit's book all the time. You cannot, so what, because this book is a book to be issued for the people all over the world. Of course, they wouldn't try to make us understand very complex things. But the basics is there. This, uh, even the theory of ether used by Einstein, right? Yeah, yeah. Was put down, but maybe it's still worth because, of yeah. course, maybe there's something, there's a field of uh, some kind of matter that is the basis for all matter all over the world, like mm -hmm. Democritus used to say in the old Greece, right? Yeah. So, so yeah, um, it's, it's very... It's a very interesting topic. And by the way, in those books that I bought, they are full of very complex type of mathematics and very difficult type of concepts that it took me a while to read them. But even in those books, they have a lot of questions. So they, they are saying, okay, so we are saying this, but we cannot validate all those theories yet. So we are did. We are still learning. And it's nice, you know, it's so nice that we we keep on, you know, we are brave enough to continue the the, the researches, right? So one day we'll understand. <laughs> Guys, 420 here in Houston. My client here wants to walk. <laughs> It was very nice to see you all here. So I hope to see you next Saturday then. See you. See you. We'll see you Good high. to see you, Haisin. Good today. Thank you, guys. Everybody you take care. care. Have a good one. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.